Israel is literally encircled between Israel and now Egypt, encircled uh, Gaza, and it's it's like a large open air prison. You know, Israel is controlling the air, it's controlling the land, it's controlling the sea, and you know how do you get out? I think it, they're trying to make life so miserable for the people in Gaza. You know, like at one point, one of the ministers in Israel made a decision how much food each person in Gaza can eat, enough so that they won't die from starvation, um, but, um, but not enough to really sustain life. The people in Gaza, uh, you know, would like to live a normal life like everybody else. And they can't. It's impossible because of the control by Israel. You know, schools have been bombed. Hospitals have been bombed. You know, that's control. That's destruction. Well, I still would like to go to Gaza, but I'm not sure that I'm physically able to do this. I hope that others can I will support others who will try to go. But I think for myself, I have to say, I'm no longer in physical shape to do this. You know, at this time, it's, it's, Passover is coming sh very shortly, in a few days. And I know at the end of um, the Seder, uh, I remember attending the Seder as a child in my uncle and aunt's home. And the end is always next year in Jerusalem. And so instead of that, I'm saying next year in Gaza, not for me, because I don't think I can go to do it, but next year in Gaza for all those people who want to go to Gaza.